John Jones vs Francis Ngannou fizzles as UFC apparently box at price tag. John Jones and Francis Ngannou's attempts to press the UFC into a blockbuster bout appear to have fizzled after the UFC apparently balked at the price tag. Though there are still a few fights for him at light heavyweight, the longtime 205-pound champion has been teasing a move to heavyweight for the past couple of years. Jones seemed to get a little more serious about it recently, as he and number two ranked heavyweight contender Francis Ngannou began trading barbs on social media. It appears that they even went so far as to talk to the UFC about making the fight before it blew apart. In a series of tweets, Jones and Ngannou seemed to reveal that the UFC felt it wasn't worth the money that the fighters wanted to make the super fight happen. Jones sounded particularly bitter in his initial tweets, before seemingly relenting to defending his light heavyweight strap. Unbelievable. Before even discussing numbers, the UFC was unwilling to pay more for the Francis super fight, for me to move to heavyweight. Said I could possibly earn more in pay-per-view buys, Jones wrote. It's been fun you guys, maybe I'll see you all in a year or two. Ngani was also disgruntled, but not quite as sharply as Jones. In my opinion, the UFC aren't willing to make this John fight happen or at least for what it is worth, Ngannou said. No title fight, no super fight, who knows when going to be my next fight. Hope it's not in another 11 months or so. John Jones's tweets about failed UFC negotiations. The more I think about it if I'm going to be taking big risks, I might as well go for all the cheese. I want that crown too. Send a deal. The goodwill in Albuquerque is about to get hooked up with some bomb-ass 36 waist jeans. Francis Ngannou tweets disappointment over lack of Jones fight or title fight. In my opinion, the if aren't willing to make this John fight happens or at least for what it worth. No title fight, no super fight, who knows when going to be my next fight. Hope it's not in another 11 months or so. UFC's Tyron Woodley on Gilbert Burns fight, I'm in a violent headspace. Tyron Woodley says he's not just looking for a win on May 30th, he wants to make a violent statement to the UFC that he's ready for his title shot. The former welterweight champ is taking on Gilbert Burns at UFC fight night, and says he's in a very violent headspace. I'm willing to do some SH tie stuff to people, put them in compromising positions, hurt them, like literally hurt them. I don't know if I've ever been this focused, Woodley said this week on the Hollywood Beatdown. Tyron says he considers his fight with Burns to be a real war, one that Gilbert will wish he never asked for in the first place. This is going to be a clear case of someone asking for something they didn't really know what they were asking for. You gotta watch the clip, Tyron says he can't wait to fight in an empty arena so the fans at home can hear him talk shit to Burns while he beats his ass. People are gonna feel bad for him. Burns is on a five-fight win streak, including a win over Damian Maia back in March. John Jones upset with the UFC over superfight pay, bad business. Negotiations don't always go as planned with the UFC. Many of the biggest stars in MMA have had their share of falling out in disputes with the UFC. The likes of Georges Saint Pierre, Anderson Silva, and Conor McGregor have all found themselves on opposite sides of the UFC when it comes to certain issues. Recently, UFC light heavyweight champ John Jones had a dispute with the promotion, and left feeling shocked with the business practices of his employers. Following UFC 249, Cameroonian heavyweight Francis Ngannou stood out as one of the most dangerous and imposing fighters in the division, with a 20 seconds KO of Yair Rosenstruik. Afterwards he and Jones went back and forth, seemingly agreeing upon a heavyweight bout between them. Jones even asked the UFC to send him a contract to fight Ngannou in the champ's first fight at heavyweight. While it seemed as the ideal scenario, as heavyweight champ Stipe Miocic is expected to face Daniel Cormier in a trilogy fight for the title, all parties did not come to an agreement. Taking to social media to express his feelings on the matter, Jones claimed that the UFC weren't willing to provide sufficient payment for a bout with the feared KO artist Ngannou. Before even discussing numbers, the UFC was unwilling to pay more for the Francis super fight, for me to move to heavyweight. Said I could possibly earn more in pay-per-view buys. 
He then vowed to take a hiatus from the UFC, adding, It's been fun you guys, maybe I'll see you all in a year or two. After taking some time to think things over, a less emotional Jones, while displeased with the UFC, seemingly accepted the UFC's practices. He then welcomed a light heavyweight title defense with Jan Blachowicz, who recently lined up his third straight win in the UFC, finishing Corey Anderson in the first round. I've had some time to think about it and am a lot less emotional. Just sad that the if doesn't see my value against the scariest HW in the world. Jan I guess you're next in line hashtag bad business hashtag shocked. As of now, it's not clear as to when either Jones or Nganu will return to the octagon. 